We weren't even looking at TAG until NAB of 2022 and uh, came by the booth and saw the presentation and instantly saw the possibilities and the promise of what it could be. And so, you know, we talked to the sales team and uh, we wanted to do a demo and they said, great, we can uh, send you a virtual instance of it and you can run it on your own hardware if you want even. And that for us is even a huge plus because we're, we're heavily into virtualizing our infrastructure as much as possible. And so for a company to be able to send me a, a virtual machine to run an instance of and to be able to spin up a proof of concept in a couple days, that really put it over the top for us. I mean, there was just, I mean, no question that this is huge and innovative and different. 12th Man Productions is the broadcast and production house for Texas A&M Athletics. As Texas A&M is a part of the Southeastern Conference or SEC, uh, we are a member of the SEC network and so we are under contract with ESPN to provide and produce you know, X number of broadcasts for uh, X number of games. And so we produce probably over 100 events a year um, for pretty much every sport. We've started our 2110 rollout in 2018 actually with a kind of a slow methodical approach where we transition and upgrade something as it makes sense. And so we took this idea of going from this outward in approach being the transport between venues. Uh, we decided to change that to 2110 and kind of work into our core. And so this past summer was the final changeover for all of our core infrastructure. When we were going through this change, you know, we, we had some options and uh, and really when, when we were looking at TAG and, and uh, demoing it, uh, I mean, we, we spun up our demo in like 15 minutes on a, on a VM. Um, so, you know, we didn't even have to wait for them to send us anything. But like we were able to just spin up our own uh, our own server and, and get sources in and out of it uh, just on a VM within 20 minutes. So um, that's been awesome. And then, uh, you know, just really excited about our API, API implementation in the future because we've already, you know, been using it extensively. And I'm just excited to see like how it grows um, because I know it's just, you know, going to get better. You know, we evaluated, we thought it through, we tried it out. Uh, you know, tried to bang on it and, and see what what wasn't going to work for us. Did we see any possible problems that that might not work for us? And some people had said, well, you know, they might you might want to be careful that they're software based so that latency could be a problem. And so, you know, we did some tests to do side by side with our old baseband and the latency was actually better than that. So we felt at that point, OK, latency is no longer an issue. It's got the right architecture. The cost is amazing. The features are there. Why wouldn't we go with this route? And so we went from April 2022 evaluating to pulling the trigger in June, I believe it was. We tend to be good at uh, breaking things um, by trying to you know, push the boundaries. And we like being a part of that process. And so it's been good. You know, any, any small thing that comes up, uh, you know, I can reach out and we, we you know, we'll get a response and then we'll have like a remote in session, um, for example. Uh, we've had a, a couple of those for some minor things. And then that's actually helped me, you know, learn more about the system. So then I, um, you know, can fix any problems like that on my own. So it's, it's been good, quick responses. We've uh, had no problems. The guys we've worked with have been great. So it's all been good so far. Another key feature for us is how responsive, how quickly, how adept is the support going to be able to fix those problems. And every step along the way, we've just felt that there is nothing but confirmation that this was the right way to go for us. If somebody is in my position, you know, 
able to implement 2110 and has some of the expertise and the experience to be able to really get the full scope out and they need the, the flexibility and capacity and scalability, TAG is 100% the way I go. You know, if I was starting over, TAG would still be my choice, you know. You design a system, you implement it, and sometimes you realize, you know, this seemed good, but now I've seen, you know, this other idea or this other solution would have been better. With TAG, it's been 100% clear and reconfirming every time that this is the right solution, and I would, I would choose it again and again.